yeah shout out mojave you know what i'm saying hey sean how you doing do you think guys like it when a girl shoots their shot at a guy i want to know also hope you having a great night we're having a great night on this side hope you're having the same um i can't speak for every guy i know when it happens to me i don't usually know how i feel I, like i have to it depends on the way she approaches or the way she shoots the shot you know if it's some really lame shit or some corny shit, i feel like like a woman it was will. 1987 all right bro like fuck up bro just fuck up um i can't even respond now niggas want to be just like second to get back to the original question it's only i don't mind it it's only uh bad if if like the pickup is bad so like the last like girls that like ask you really stupid questions as like intros to conversations i really don't like that because it's like i feel like you're wasting my time like girls some girls ask like uh do you smoke and it's just like i don't like that question like you could just come up and you could say anything else like you could say anything else it just feels it's like too easy of a thing like do you smoke like what if i say no and i always i'm always gonna say no i'm always gonna say no do you you don't know what that means stop it i know people get nervous and that's fair it's just i don't have to carry the slack of the conversation because you don't know how, how to approach people that's all i'm saying so like no i don't fucking smoke like if that's your intro question i'm gonna say no i'm gonna say no um trying to think going down in here i'm with the money team some girls come up to you they get a little touchy feely a little too you know what i'm saying a little too uh i won't say aggressive but some of them get a little too handsy and it's like yeah i know a lot of guys will tell you that that's okay it's not keep your hands to us i don't know you i don't fuck with you like that like relax uh what's another way that women approach you some women approach you with their phone out some women some women uh approach you and they'll tap you on the back of the shoulder uh some women will say something kind of offensive to you in the attempt to make a joke and then they'll try to like pretty it up like they'll try to dick suck you first before they give you a compliment i don't like that i don't like that either uh but if you do it in like a respectful way and you have like a conversational skills like you say something maybe that he's interested in like that's cool even if you just walk up to him and say i i think you're really cute or i think you're really you know nice look i think you're handsome whatever the case is and just ask for his number like that's fine too that's fine too but all the extra shit is with like when you're being overtly or like clearly dishonest it's like all right bro like you're, you're being weird right now i don't like what if she grabs your dick call the cops okay call the cops Sean wants a girl to ask if he listens to Future. On oh God. On oh God, if a girl came up to me and asked me what my favorite Future song is, we could have a whole dialogue. We could have a whole dialogue. Unk's last crush was in the disco. You ever been with a big girl? No. But I wanted to. But I didn't um I didn't talk to her. She was my door dasher. And I was going to but I just thought it would be inappropriate. And she definitely was waiting for me to say something. But I just didn't. Because I just was like, yo, I don't want to bother her. But I was going to say something. She was definitely on the bigger side. But her face was beautiful. She had a beautiful face. Oh, no, nah, don't catch a case. Okay. I don't know how we got there. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm 37 and I collect dolls. Where did that come from? I hate fluff questions. Me too big girls love me swear to god no bitches love you at all i never listen to future willingly i'ma listen and report back yeah you're missing out l body shaming how am i body shaming i loved her i thought about her for at least two weeks longer than that and i was like yo i hope she i hope she bring me meat again like that was crazy but 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 anyway yeah like approaching people is cool i don't approach I don't approach like that though. I was trying to remember the last time I approached. My approach isn't I don't approach I don't approach women. I don't approach women. Women usually just give me choosing signals and then I go off that. Like if if I if they're staring for, you know, a little lengthy of a time or they keep bumping into me. 
and they're like oops or, or sorry or they just make conversation off like you know not too like some women give you an easy opening and that's fine i wouldn't say it's about being scared it's just about being uncomfortable i don't like creating situations that are awkward you know what i mean so like it's cool if you just like to cold approach people like if that's your thing do your thing but for me i don't like moments that i gotta force like i don't like forcing shit so like if 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 like if we in a grocery store on some shit or whatever and you in the fucking like i don't know you 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 getting eggs and i have no business in the egg section or whatever and i see you doing your thing or you busy or whatever the fuck it like i'm not gonna be like oh yeah hey how you doing like it's just i don't like forcing shit like that if we happen to be in the same aisle or something and we bump into each other and you like oh, okay like we, we we strike up a little conversation or something or it's organic then that's cool but like i don't like forcing it bro or we walking down the street or something and we just walking past each other like that is not the moment to stop somebody to talk to them you're going this way i'm going this way and you haven't looked at me there's no like eye contact there's nothing and i'm gonna just stop you and like i'm gonna I'm halt your whole momentum to take up time for this like i don't like doing that like i just think that's a little weird so i personally just like to go on about my business it's millions of women everywhere that probably look exactly like the exact one that i thought was kind of cute kind of attractive um i'm gonna see another one if she didn't notice me or if she's just or if i'm not her type or whatever the case is but i'm gonna just i'm gonna just i'm gonna I'm keep it moving for the most part um and and just wait for them to come up to me that's usually what happens or they just give you a real, really easy opening unspoken riz works oh please stop doing that please stop doing that sean but what if you're chopped what's my sean what is your favorite future song at the moment puffin on zooties i guess maybe yeah i would say puffin on zooties do i use dating apps i don't use dating apps i don't know dating apps that's another that's another force to me i don't know i don't know how i don't know really how how funny you have to be if people think you're chopped i don't know Well, she said at the moment, at the moment, I'm going to say it's, it's puffing on duties. What if you walking behind, you still approach? No. It depends on what the setting is, though. If you walking behind and you want to approach, you need to make sure you get in front. You need to make sure you get in front. I'm not ta I'm not tapping no woman on the shoulder. I'm just not doing that. That's it. Just it's just kind of crazy. I'm not doing it. Um, I got to make sure I got to be coming to I got to be coming from the front. I'm not getting behind you, bro. It's just not it's not happening. Uh second usually how most of my like I said most of my relationships start or situations she's staring at me for too long or she comes up to me and says something. That's how they all that's how they all go. That's how they go. Yep, got you because of what he said. That's not a good look. Yeah, I don't think that's a good look at all. Yo, excuse me, Miss Type B. <laughs> Traza needs Jesus. What the fuck did he say? I'm going to follow him like Chris Brown. <laughs> Wait, Chris Brown? No, I'm not going I'm not going to say that. I'm not going I'm not doing that. Traza is different. Traza moving vicious. He moving devious. Yeah, I don't think that's hard though. I do I do I do have annoying ones though. Niggas was making fun of Babyface for saying he don't approach women. Niggas made fun of Babyface for saying that? Bro, if you got any type of like appeal at all, why would you approach if you're a guy when you don't need to? If you don't have to approach, then you don't have to approach. And sometimes, like I said, if you do approach, it's it's just women create women women create the perfect opportunities for you to approach that's when i approach if when, when women create the opportunity then 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 i approach other than that i'm not doing nothing crazy because then it just feel it feels very forced and it just feels like out of character it's out of character for me to walk up to niggas that i don't know I'm not doing that what's the opportunity i mean i feel like you'll know I don't like the lip licking. Hey, do you want to hang out? Kind of approach. <laughs> Some might think it's cool and collected. It seems predatory. <laughs> Who 
Who is licking their lips as they approach you? <laughs> Don't need to. 90s R&B routine beat. Approaching just makes things go a little faster. Uh, sure. I just feel like, I don't know. Maybe I have horror stories. Cause some of my, some of my friends, I've, I've literally seen them approach girls that have, that have like no even realization that they are there. And over time they've gotten better at, you know, understanding when they're spooking someone versus, when they're uh, going to follow up on like a lead, quote unquote, if that makes sense. But I don't know. Yeah. Horror stories like. Like he like somebody walking up on you and they then they scared the shit out of you because you had no idea that they were there. It, it's just it's just weird. It's, it's weird. Don't don't just don't do it. Uh, do it. Do it at your own risk. I don't know. I don't know. I can't speak for everyone. I'm ugly as fuck. How can I pull this? How can you pull tens? Tens are subjective, my brother. So pull what you're attracted to. If you're attracted, then that that's your ten. I just okay. I just say, hey, bitch, you across the room, and I like your face. Be Reese Friday. I'm taking you out. Okay, so you don't have a car. Nice. Thanks for letting us know. Um, do niggas actually use the word Riz in real life? I've never heard the word Riz until I got on the internet. This is great and all, but how do you build up the confidence to approach that girl? I don't know. It's just like an instinct. Something will tell you in the exact moment. You know what? Yeah, go do that. I don't know. Yeah, it's a feeling. Kai Sinat coined the term Riz. That's good for him, but niggas need to stop using it. Like, what? wasn't I out yesterday? Was No, it was the day before yesterday on Friday. And a girl walked past me. And I knew she was coming. And she walked past me and I looked at her while she was walking away and she looked back. And then I went to go sit. I went to go sit somewhere to have a conversation. I was on the phone and she walked past me again. And I was just looking at her because I knew I knew I knew she knew that I was there. I just was waiting for her to turn around. I was waiting for her to turn around and she walked so far from me before she turned around completely and just looked back at me. And I'm like, OK, that, that's the signal. I got it. I know what you want me to do. And she stood there and waited for me as I came up. So it's. I don't really I don't really want to say it's a game, but I guess it's, it's you just got to you got to play it by ear. There is no one. There's no one size fits all. There's no one size fits all. What did I say afterwards? What's up? How you doing? My name is so and so, you know, can I talk to you later? The, the 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 thing that the hard part really isn't like getting the information that's that's kind of easy it's more so maintaining interest until y'all see each other again a lot of y'all a lot of y'all be like oh shit like the hardest part is the approach no it's not that's ve that's actually fairly easy compared to the parts that you need to get into until where you want to actually see them because some girls i've talked to approached we you know we have a very strong like i'm very attracted to them in the beginning and then we talk for like a couple conversations i'm like oh, i don't really like her like that she not really you know what i'm saying that's not really my vibe or i don't like the way she speaks or i don't like the way she moving or this or that like we don't end up connecting to every person whose information that you get so you use that little intro as a little trial period i want to see you and then if it go it go but they don't know how go Yeah, everybody got different definitions of what human behavior is on what's on what's a red flag and what's not a red flag. What's my opening line? I just said there's no one size fits all. I don't have a line. I really just be like, you know what I'm saying? How you doing? Especially if she's been like lurking or looking. 
But some girls don't even give me a chance to say that. Like I said, it's some girls that just walk up to me and they have their phone out and their information ready. Some girls, like I said, there's one chick just walk up to me and just leave her fucking information on my lap or on a chair next to me and don't give me a chance to say nothing and just all the guys keep going. Ask how to approach when you have no confidence, just count to three and just do it. Don't think about counting to three. Not going to work. I'm, a, I'm not going to lie to you because I'm a, like, if I really don't want to do something, I'm going to keep counting past three. I'm going to go to four or five and six and seven and eight. And then I'm gonna just she gonna be gone by the time I get to 100. So it's I don't know, I don't know. Me personally, I, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna end up counting at a thousand. It's not gonna happen. I just gotta go do it. I can't count. No, I, I'm not. I'm not counting. Um, no, maybe though. Would you ever do the one chip challenge? I might. I'm not sure. I probably wouldn't. I could probably handle it though, but maybe not. I don't know for sure. Damn, they making it easy. I would make you work for it a bit why it's nothing wrong with working for, it's nothing wrong with getting it like and telling somebody hey this is what i think in the beginning but if you don't leave an impression then like some girls that have done that i've literally not used the information because i'm like yo you left too fast for me to even remember what you look like really or you didn't say anything that really like you know what i'm saying i'm not even interested in this and then some it's so much bro it's so much work so much fucking work bro oh god just get one get get one get one or two maybe three and then you good you feeling someone why make them work for it that's what i'm saying don't make anything harder than it has to be yeah i'm not gonna play hard to get if i if i fuck with you and i like you i'm gonna show interest you're gonna get regular calls regular messages i'm gonna see you as much as i can i'm not about to be on a little pussy foot and whatever oh she, she you know she she banged it on me or you know what i'm saying she didn't answer my phone call i'm not gonna answer her for like this amount of rings and i'm gonna you know what i'm saying make sure at, at this particular time i don't answer her to make sure it look like i'm busy like no i'm like I'm, I'm trying to see you what like what i'm not i'm not doing the chasing shit that's not happening like it's cool but like, nah, that's going to be another thing. That's going to be another thing. Like, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. But like, if this, like, I'm not, I'm not feeding it. I'm not feeding nobody ego. I'm not feeding nobody ego or what, or what we think this is. Like, I'm not doing that. Some people have tried to do that too. Like, oh, I expected you to call me some more before we even got to this point. And I'm like, mm, Why? You want me to make shit harder for me to please whatever weird uh, sense of reality that you're trying to live in? I'm cool. I think that means putting in some effort. Eh, I don't know what effort means. Effort to me is, okay, that's only if you approach and she has zero interest in you. If she don't have zero interest in you, some girls just like the attention. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that guy that's feeding artificial attention just because, like, just because you want to, I don't know what, I don't know where the lack of attention is coming from, but I'm not going to feed it to you. Like, that's just not me. It's not my body. I just if I genuinely like you, I'm gonna give you attention anyway. I'm gonna give you attention anyway. So that's just me. But they're home. What? Can I play the video, Big Bro? All right, I'm gonna play it for you because you called me Big Bro and I like that. Low key, it kind of turned me on. Yo, y'all got. Never mind. See, if I say something, then I'm weird. But y'all can say whatever. <laughs> 